So see buckthorn. What can it do for you? What is this plant? It is not buckthorn bark, right? The buckthorn family of plants is the Ramnus, um, Frangula, and there's a lot of other ones. We talk about that in another section. This is sea buckthorn, right? And it's Hippophae um, Ramnoides, right? Forgive my Latin. <laughs> That's what this plant is, and it hails from China. It grows in the very high altitudes of the Himalayas, sometimes called holy fruit of the Himalayas. But it also grows along the sea coasts um, in some of the European areas, so hence the name sea buckthorn. It's got a nice thorny plant and these amazing berries that are really crazy nutrition. And the seeds can be crushed to make an oil that's really potently and um, as well. So this is a plant that's great for skin care, and you're going to find out why in just a second. And heart health and diabetes. It just has a lot of application cancers. Um, it has 10 times the amount of vitamin C than oranges. It's ranked number three for its vitamin E content. Lots of carotenoids. So you can see where the seed oil and the fruit as well come in really importantly for skin health. And amazingly, it contains all four of the omega fatty acids, and it's thought to be the only plant that does that. So you're talking omega-3, omega-6, omega-7, and omega-9. And I go into all that in the Healing Herb Health session on this plant so you can understand why that's important and what those things do, because we hear these terms all over the place. But what an amazing plant, especially if you're vegetarian, right? To get all this nutrition, all these fatty acids, um, and you can get it from the oils, you can get it from the juice. Some people say it tastes like pineapple, sometimes called Siberian pineapple. Sometimes people think it's kind of like an orangey mango. It's really tart berry. It's delicious. It's fun to use. And in traditional Chinese medicine, in TCM, we consider it very good for transforming what we call phlegm. And phlegm, when it becomes pathogenic, is this viscous, gunky stuff that clogs the system. We don't just mean mucus. We mean it's going to make just feel nauseous in your stomach. It's going to... Um, give you leucorrhea, if it's going to, urinary tract infections potentially, um, tumors, lumps, bumps, right, abscesses, gunky, fluidy buildup, right? And this is an herb that comes through and just cleans that right on out. Um, so pretty, pretty cool. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Find out more about this plant. You're going to be hearing more about it if you're not already familiar with it. See buckthorn.